A story of survival involving a young man who overcame what many of us would consider to be insurmountable obstacles from living in a refugee camp to running his own business in Washington, D.C. and paying it forward for so many others. Here's Kenneth Moten. For most of his young life, 25-year-old Luau Mayan spent it as a refugee. There was a time he had never even seen a computer, much less a video game. I never thought a video game I created by people, actually. I thought they just fall from heaven or whatever that is. <laughs> That's because Mayan's family fled South Sudan's decades-long civil war in 1993. His mother, pregnant with him. He was born before they reached the camps in northern Uganda. It was his home for the next 22 years. It's a place where, like, nobody deserves to be. It, it's like being locked in a dark place. And a lot of people think that, you know, a refugee camp is a temporary place. It's like where you go for three years and you go back to your country. No, it's not. I've been there for 22 years. It, it, it's a permanent home. And those camps, technology not easily accessible. But one day in 2007, Mayan laid eyes on something he'd never seen before, a computer. He was captivated. I came to my mom and I was like, I want to buy a computer. And she looked at me and she was laughing and she was like, what are you going to do with this? There's no place where you can land. There's no money for you to, for us to buy. There's no place where you can charge the computer. There's no, like, th millions of things that actually, I would say, yeah, I think I was crazy for asking that. Not crazy at all. The seed planted. Mayan's mother secretly spent three years saving $300 as a camp seamstress to buy her son his first computer. I made that decision because Luau would ask me every time that I need a computer. And I, I realized that that was something that was, that he really, really values in his, in his heart. And it's something that he wanted. This is my first computer, like my, my mom bought for me. Uh, With no internet and no electricity to charge the computer, Mayan walked three hours to and from a UN camp with a generator. A teen at the time, Mayan's attention quickly turned to video games when a friend downloaded Grand Theft Auto. After I played the game, I was like, to me, I started realizing the power of game. So he decided to create his own, Salam, which means peace in Arabic. The game, something different from his daily reality of war and violence, puts the player in the shoes of a refugee escaping a war-torn country. Mayan's mother inspired the main character. The journey is something my mom been through. The journey is, is it's, it's something I've been through. Mayan's first audience, the people in the refugee camp, he uploaded it to Facebook. It quickly went viral. Please take a look. 26 million people watched when Mayan was named a global gaming citizen at the 2018 Gaming Awards for his positive approach to gaming. And former NBA player and fellow South Sudanese Luol Deng honored him with an award for achievement in representing the South Sudanese diaspora. All the South Sudanese, this is an achievement award to you. Now, Mayan is working to bridge the virtual world with the real world. When you're actually buying food in the game, you're actually buying someone in refugee camp food. When you buy medicine in the game, you're actually buying somebody in a refugee camp medicine. You're playing the game, you're not just buying a character, you're actually buying someone in real life. You're helping them by just playing the game. The former refugee now living in Washington, D.C., leads his own company to Noob Games, creating a new category he calls Gaming for Good. I wouldn't forget my root because it's actually what made me who I am. And, 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 and the people, a lot of people ask me today, like, you know, you, you premiere your game at the Game Award. Do you think you're a self-made person? And to me, I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not a self-made person. I'm, um, I could, but um, the day my mother bought for me a laptop was actually the day that disqualified me to become a self-made person. Our thanks to Kenneth for that story. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.